Chinese Premier Li Keqiang is in Moscow, finishing his trip to Russia by meeting Russian President Vladimir Putin. The meeting comes after a series of agreements were signed aimed at promoting bilateral cooperation. CCTV's Alyo Alyosa Milenkovich has more from the Russian capital. It was three very fruitful days uh, for uh, Chinese, Chinese and the Russian relations uh, here in uh, Russia after a three-day visit of uh, Chinese Premier Li Keqiang uh, finished uh, here in Moscow. Uh, first two days he spent in St. Petersburg where he met Russian counterpart Dmitry Medvedev. They have covered so many areas of uh, mutual collaboration between two countries, economic, uh, political and uh, of course cultural. Uh, in the cultural area as well. They have agreed on a number of issues, including uh, to start and to begin to work in the areas where those two countries so far didn't, uh, didn't work uh, even at all. For instance, maybe most important on uh, developing of uh, peaceful usage of uh, nuclear energy. Uh, that's also one of the, of the most important things which uh, will be ahead of uh, Russia and uh, China in the, in the future. Also, during the, the meeting between Chinese Premier Li Keqiang and uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin, here in Moscow, uh, Russian president have officially invited his Chinese counterpart to visit, Chi to visit uh, Russia actually in year 2017. That means just that there we will see continuation of uh, high profile visits between two countries. There is also uh, talks about the synchronization of uh, their mutual, uh, of their mutual uh, actions in the United Nations Security Council because those two countries uh, have worked very closely in the, in the previous period in uh, trying to achieve uh, the, the, their way of how they actually see uh, how world sh should look like and that it should be peaceful resolution for so many, uh, so many problems around the world. Uh, there were also talks about um, energy sector, which is most important for, for both countries, and so many other things. Uh, at the end of this three-day visit, it is obvious that there is a bright future for economic, uh, political and cultural relationship between uh, China and Russia in uh, months and years to come. And our thanks to Alyosa Milenkovic.